Tony Macy here, one more time taking a look at the next progression from our kettlebell deadlift. Now we're going to start swinging that kettlebell, but we're going to, and we've, we've done this, we've taken a look at this pattern before, this swing, uh, and we've broken it down, and, and, and those are all good things. What I want to show you something that's a little different, what we call a start-stop swing, right? Learn this from Pat Flynn. Uh, so what we're going to set up, and what you want, the first idea I want you to think about is that you are now an NFL pro long snapper, all right? So that's our first setup position is that you're going to be a good two, two and a half, three feet away from that bell. Now, once again, she's not bending over to get to that bell. She's going to send her hips back uh, towards that wall there to get down to that bell, reaching out like she's about to snap the football. Go ahead, Mace. Great. Now, what I want you to think about during the entire time I'm teaching you this is that she's trying to sink back as far as she can into those hips. She's trying to get way back into there. So much so that she feels like she's about ready to fall over. And you, you can see that the bell is already coming up off the ground. That's where we want to do. That's, why, that's how we want to do this. Now, as soon as Macy starts to feel like that's it, she's going to fall over, I want her to swing. So go ahead and swing, swing up, take it back down, and then set it back down. Again, starting right back to that start position. All right, one more time. Big up, boom. Big powerful swing, and then back down. And again, finishing where she started. All right, that's what we want. Thanks, Macy. Start, stop, swing. It's a great tool to get you into that swinging motion. It'll teach you the proper way to get back into those hips, that it's an explosive movement coming from the hips and nothing from the up top. Give that a try before you get into some big heavy swings.